Step one, vehicle off and cool. Disconnect both batteries if equipped. Step two, drain the coolant by removing the cap from the reservoir and locating the drain petcock on the lower driver's side of the radiator. Step three, disconnect the cold charge pipe from the throttle body by removing the retaining clip. Step four, remove the hot charge pipe by disconnecting the retaining clip at the turbo and the clamp from the factory intercooler. Step five, disconnect the upper radiator hose by removing the retaining clip and set it aside. Step six, disconnect the cold charge pipe from the factory intercooler and remove. Unbolting the power steering fluid reservoir and moving it aside can provide more access. Step seven, disconnect the coolant lines from the factory intercooler. Step eight, remove the two 13 millimeter bolts securing the factory intercooler to the battery tray and store them for later. Remove the factory intercooler. Step nine, Prepare the PPE intercooler for installation by installing the supplied rubber grommet and rubber bushing. Transfer the U-nut from the factory intercooler to the PPE intercooler. Step 10. Carefully position the PPE intercooler, making sure the rubber bushing is securely in place on the support bracket, located behind the battery tray. Reinstall the factory 13 millimeter bolts to secure the PPE intercooler to the battery tray. Step 11, apply a thin layer of silicone lubricant to the O-ring. Then, begin the hot charge pipe installation by ensuring that the clip is securely attached to the turbo adapter. Carefully slide the adapter onto the turbo. Step 12, place the straight coupler with two of the smaller included clamps onto the turbo adapter. Then attach the PPE hot side pipe. Install the humped coupler onto the pipe and the intercooler with two more clamps. The clamps can be left loose for now to allow for final adjustments once the cold side is installed. Step 13. On high output trucks, transfer the factory hot side sensor to the PPE hot side pipe, plug in the wiring harness, and attach the harness clip to the bracket. For non-HO trucks, install the included plug. Step 14. Disconnect the upper radiator hose from the thermostat housing and move it aside to provide better access while installing the cold side pipe. Step 15, install the lower elbow coupler onto the PPE cold side pipe with two clamps. Then install the assembly onto the PPE intercooler outlet, ensuring that the coupler is fully seated. Step 16, transfer the retaining clip from the factory throttle body adapter to the PPE adapter. Then apply a thin layer of silicone lubricant to the O-ring. Step 17, Slide the PPE adapter over the throttle body, ensuring that the clip is fully seated. Install the final coupler onto the adapter and cold side pipe with the large clamp on the throttle body side. In the proper orientation, the PPE logo on the coupler should point directly up. Step 18. With the coupler clamp still loose, adjust the positioning of each component to achieve optimal fitment, ensuring there is no interference with surrounding components. Once correctly aligned, securely tighten all clamps. Step 19. Transfer the factory intake air temperature sensor to the PPE cold side pipe and plug in the wiring harness. Step 20, connect the factory coolant lines to the PPE intercooler. Step 21, reconnect the upper radiator hose. Bolt the power steering fluid reservoir back into place if you previously moved it aside. Step 22, 
Reinstall and connect the battery with the hold down bracket. Step 23, fill the system with the manufacturer recommended coolant. Place the supplied carb EO label on a clean visible location under the hood. Installation complete. 